Hi guys, welcome back. Stuart here. I am going to be playing Leafy Lake, which is the third scenario. Um, let's have a quick look. Starting from scratch, build a theme park around a large lake. Your objective, to have at least 500 guests in your park at the end of October, year three, with a park rating of at least 600. Okay, so here's the big lake. Um, quite a lot of land. Uh, way more land than, than what would actually be needed um let's see what rides we've got already unlocked train carousel ferris wheel uh, wooden coaster junior coaster twist uh, some water rides which you know are little boats for which is kind of handy for a for a lake i suppose and then some shops right so what i usually do is plow all my research into shops because i want to get a uh, kiosk the park is shut that's fine i haven't got any staff already so let's hire our first worker handyman park him down there i'm gonna zone him Right, so that shows me the grid that the park is on. Um, anyone who's seen any of my other videos will know the OCD that uh, runs or ruins, however you want to spell, spell it, that uh, my park. Um, I'm probably going to get rid of the path. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the path. Um, simply because when I open the park now I can either put no entry signs around um, my development so that guests don't wander aimlessly where there aren't any rides or shops or I can just delete all the existing path and then build it as and when I need it. One thing it also does is get rid of the existing benches. That way, any benches that I do put down, I can ensure that I've got adequate coverage from security guards. Right. The first video, uh, scenario video I did, forest frontiers uh it went on for a for quite a long time um but it was i wanted to do like an in-depth video showing how i how i make the parks um the second one dynamite dunes what i did was when i was doing a lot of the boring building stuff i fast forwarded so the video came in at around 25 minutes so i think that's probably the way i'm going to go from now on um so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build some of the existing rides that I have and then hopefully we'll have researched um, information kiosk and possibly if I've researched something else, something that I can build then. Just built two new pirate ships. I think they look lovely built in pairs and they're always so popular that you need an extra ride sometimes. Um, even in Disney Disney World they've got uh, two Dumbo rides next to each other because they're, they're so popular. So if they can do it, I can too. Right, we've also given the existing rides a nice uh, new paint job and we've just researched go-karts so I'm gonna go now build a nice uh, go-kart track let's see
So we finished the gold cards. It uh, it's over here. It goes underground. It goes around a bit, and then it comes back up. Just opened it up. Everyone's paying ten. People love roll. Uh, people love gold cards. So what you can do as well is see the little globe in the corner. If you press and hold that, well, press and hold it. There you go. You get this little little view menu. So if you press underground view. Can see the uh, go karts there. Oof. Nice little overtake. You can also access that via the options. And we've just researched, launched free fall. Okay. So what speed is that set to? That's set to 38 miles per hour. So we can set this one to try 51. Top spin. Right. So I think that's all the thrill rides we're gonna need. So I'm gonna switch research now to roller coasters see if it gives me anything better than the default two so I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use this tool here in order To make it easier to build some roller coasters. Um, I'm not going to do anything, anything fancy. Probably one of the simplest designs you can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, up. Loop right. Down, on right forward section, up, loop left. Some more money, and then up. No twists in this one. Let's just have it going straight up. And then on the back, we're going to have a twist. What I'm going to do now is get rid of these this uh, land um, I built it originally to make it easier to build the roller coaster I think now I'm gonna build um, some shops so I'm just gonna spam some balloon ride some balloon stores around the place uh, and then I think I'm gonna build a nice uh, seating area and some food stores Now it's June, year two. I've built another couple of roller coasters. I've, um, I call that one loops. Uh, there's a tutorial building that 
coaster on my channel if you wanted to check that out it's uh, probably one of the cheapest roller coasters you can buy you can build and um, extremely profitable so it's um, let's have a look at the objective again 500 guests smash that um, park rating of at least 600 park rating is it's on its way up I'm gonna say to 999 so we've smashed that um, I could have completed the it in uh, year one and I was I, I was taking my time um, it's not not a hard scenario um, it's one that you've got a lot of a lot of room with you can have a lot of fun with it um, but um, to be honest I'm I'm pretty much about done now I, I've built some shops so what are the shops doing there oh, there you go I've got shop sales food drink sales so I'm getting about two to two and a half thousand um, from all my shops and food and drink uh, on ride photos count as shops so that's a uh, factor that in built some nice little seating areas over there uh, we've got tons of balloons around the park um, so if you zoom out you can see all the balloons um, one thing that uh, is a lot easier with a touch screen is pop in the balloon you could do this on the original game with the mouse but um, it is much much easier with with your finger another thing that um, you could also do on the original which you can do on this one and I'm looking I'm looking see if I can find any any ducks can't see any can't see any. No. Mm, well, cause when you when you when you uh, tap on a duck, it gives a bit of a quack quack. But uh, I can't can't see any. I've added another roller coaster. This one goes through both loops of both these roller coasters, um, which has increased the excitement on the looping coasters. But the wooden coaster, still not very exciting. I don't know about you. But uh, if I was on a ro wooden roller coaster and it went through not one but four loops with not one but two trains going around the track, I would think that was pretty excited, exciting. But oh well. if only there was a way of timing it. Oh. We're now in October year three, so we're coming up to the objective date. Let's just have a quick reminder of the objective. Starting from scratch, build a theme park around a large lake to have at least 500 guests in your park at the end of October year three with a park rating of at least 600. We've got over 1100 guests in the park, so that's double the requirement and the park rating is on 
0.999, which is maximum. It was hovering below that for a while. So I've just added a few more shops and I've even hired a few entertainers. You can see a little, a little panda man. Just, where is he? Well, there he is, little panda man. He's, uh, he's walking around entertaining. I've got a few of them dotted around the park. That seems to have just nudged it up slightly to the 999. Um, I dropped the price of this wooden coaster down to one pound. So it's now one of the cheapest rides in the park. Um, the idea behind that was to get more people riding it and freeing up some space in the rest of the park. Um, hopefully that would stop people complaining that the park was too crowded. I mean, it's not not a huge amount of people complaining about that. There you go, 79. So that's, well, it's less than 10%. So it's not a huge amount. Um, there's more people telling me that, there's twice as many people telling me that they're not hungry which seems a bit um, of a silly thing. When I wander around a theme park, I don't go around saying, I'm not hungry. Um, so what have we got now? It is now 23rd of October. So we're just a few days away from completing the park. So let's just have a quick, quick tour around the park. Um, so there's the entrance, either side of the entrance, we've got the little seating areas that we built, um, food areas just in front, twists, two Ferris wheels, one going forward, one going backwards. We've got a free fall there. We've got two, uh, top spins, one set to beginners, one set to, um, intense mode. We've then got, um, four looping coasters here we got this one this pair here is loops oh this pair here loops 5.2 i've got a tutorial on the channel how to build that so it's very uh, quick and easy to build very cheap makes a lot of money and then this one here which i've called quattro um, Just a very simple couple of loops straight up and back. Um, the reason for the tail at the back is uh, if you didn't have this tail at the back, the coasters would fly at the end and crash. And then over here then we've got a little wooden coaster which goes through the four loops. It's not very exciting. I'd love to ride something like that, but um, that's just me. And then over here, we've got another free fall. This one's a little bit, little bit higher, a little bit faster. And we've completed the objective. Um, this scenario is quite easy. It does drag on for a while. I think, to be honest, we could have completed it in the first year. Um, certainly October year two would have been fine. October year three, well, we spent the last year or year and a half, almost two years fast forward in it. It is a bit much, even, even though it is a, a beginner's scenario, it does take a long time. Um, it does feel like a long time when you just sat here fast forwarding. Um, because to be honest, you just want to get on with the Once you've completed, you know, you've completed one scenario, you just want to get on with playing the next ones. And, um, that's precisely what we're going to do. So thank you for watching. Please like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Um, if you've got any requests, make a comment. Um, if you, if you've got any suggestions as to how I'm doing the videos with the with the um, commentary and the fast forwarding through the building. If if you want me to um, adjust that slightly, let me know. And um, I'll see you in the next video.